eggnog is nasty bro i don't know how i'll be drinking that it tastes like blended up eggs it's just it, it's thick i don't like it your body already tropic girl you already at the top no lie no lie your body already tropic girl you already at the top no lie no so what's up youtube it's your girl dandy Dior, and i'm back with more so i just want to say first and foremost if you're a term subscriber welcome back and if you're new hey what's up my name is danny i like to eat through my hair it's gone nowhere period pool or in the midst of the christmas spirit i decided to do an unpopular opinions because i've been seeing y'all do a lot of things i don't like and usually i hold my tongue but i felt like i said what i said and it's going to be said and i'm saying it today Popular opinion number one, eggnog is nasty, bro. I don't know how I be drinking that. It tastes like blended up eggs. It's just, it, it's thick. I don't like it. Um, yeah, like, that's just, y'all probably gonna exit out my video now, but I don't care. Eggnog, I tried it for the first time after 17 years, and... I want my taste buds back. Unpopular opinion number two, the Polar Express is trash. Mm, I wouldn't say it's trash, but I don't know how y'all be sitting here acting like y'all really enjoy watching it. I just feel like school ruined that for me. After watching it every single year, it's kind of just like, where are y'all parents? Like, I don't know. I just feel like school just kind of ruined that experience for me because we literally watched it every year up until probably, I don't know, eighth grade. So I just feel like we need to go ahead and retire that movie it's what 16 years old it's did it's time okay cool cool setting up the christmas tree before december is tacky like i know stores start selling it in like the middle of october and i'm just like can we get through thanksgiving first see i literally just put on my tree like yesterday but just the fact of putting it up before thanksgiving really that is super it's just like why why relax christmas is gonna come I feel like you telling people not to post their gifts is hateration. I said what I said. Not saying that people really post their gifts anymore, but I remember this was like an era probably like a couple years ago where people would post their gifts. And you know, you have these other group of people, the Grinch, the Grinch is, the Grinchettes, they would be like, oh, you're showing off or nobody cares what you got for Christmas. Baby, if you ain't getting up for Christmas, that's all you had to say. You get Jack for Christmas, that's literally all you had to say because I just feel like a person is just showing what they got. Y'all love to see hauls. Y'all love to see lookbooks. Y'all love to see unboxing videos. So if a person shows what they got for Christmas, what's the problem? Like, y'all want to see that stuff anyway, so... I don't know if people still do it, but girl, it's gonna be 2021. If you want them people who get mad when people post their gifts, it's okay. Come here. I'll give you a hug. Unpopular opinion number five is gingerbread is nasty. Um I don't know if it's because I didn't get the ones out the box, like the gingerbread house, and then all that extra stuff on it, it really makes it like it makes it not tasteful to me. Gingerbread houses, I don't eat them i kind of just do it for decoration and call it a day but if you're one of those people who eat it um just by itself like gingerbread cookies electric chair <laughs> yeah i wouldn't say they're disgusting i just don't like the taste of it i'm very stuck in my ways when it comes to food i don't like change i don't like trying new foods so just that taste it kind of sets me off and i don't eat it ever again my next unpopular opinion this probably gonna get some of y'all really 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 mad but i just feel like it doesn't matter how long i've dated you if we've been talking december 23rd i expect a gift by december 25th like i posted this poll on my instagram like how long do you expect me dating somebody before y'all you know exchange gifts and it really baffled me because people were really putting time stamps on how long you should know if you get a gift like really what i seen was six months a year three months the lowest i've seen was like three months and i'm just like what you don't plan to meet the love of your life okay you can meet somebody one day never see them again they pop back in your life later and or that person could have been your soulmate you know what i'm saying like i feel like people are putting times on this because they feel like oh i need to make sure we have history first before you're worthy enough of my money not trying to seem like oh i'm just having it because i'm really not but i just feel like 
time doesn't matter if i like you if i start talking to you for a week and i feel like i like you i'm gonna spend money on you which is another toxic trait of mine because every time you buy or do something they want to act up yeah i just feel like it doesn't matter how long i've been talking to somebody if i like you and we we fall ill i feel like we solid we need to do a gift exchange even if we started talking december 24th next unpopular opinion is wearing like christmas colored outfits on christmas is very much tagging um uh, i didn't say they were ugly because literally i used to be that person who used to try to match my outfits but i just feel like christmas everybody knows the theme is red and green red and green green and red green red and white whatever cool but for you to put on green pants red sweater green and blue i mean green and red shoes baby we know it's christmas please just Relax. I'm not bashing it because I used to do that for like forever, but 4th of July. Y'all love to do on 4th of July. Y'all love to wear red, white, and blue. But yeah, I just feel like if you wear red and green outfits just because it's Christmas, unless it's like a, a Christmas sweater or something, you know, ugly Christmas sweater, I feel like that is just over the top. You're not five years old anymore. You don't have to correlate the holidays. Popular opinion, I feel like waiting for everybody to wake up in the house to unwrap your gifts is very much torture um i know we did it for years like i'd be up my job i don't even wake up early i'm a night owl so i will wake up at like what 7 a.m excited ready to go with my gifts and here's the rest of my family just kind of like shrugging along and i'm just like do y'all not know what day it is I always be me up first and then my mom kind of and then everybody else just kind of just trickled down and i used to get yelled at because i would be trying to like wake everybody up like hey get up and they're kind of just like you know what like shut up let me sleep that hurt my feelings like it really hurting me because i'm just like okay i'm a kid like y'all could have y'all knew i was gonna be expecting to wake up christmas morning open my gifts and y'all want to sleep that's selfish but anyways normalize waking up early or even open it um christmas eve i know some people their culture they open gifts christmas eve so do what you want to do period open your gifts without your family take a picture my next unpopular opinion is leaving cookies and milk out for santa it's um it's getting played out um of course you want to like you want to let your kids you know have that little fantasy let them think oh santa claus is real tooth fairy is real cool but baby Stop wasting cookies and milk. The milk gonna get spoiled. It smell like rotten eggs. The cookies don't get ate by somebody in the family. Like, <laughs> I'm not even trying to seem like the Grinch for real, but let's please just normalize doing that, okay? Christmas caroling is a no-no. Um, I haven't actually seen any in my recent years, but they have appeared before and it's just like, why are you going to people's houses bothering them? They're with their family, they're with their friends. Like, leave them alone. Julia, we get it. We wish you a Merry Christmas too. Unpopular opinion is leaving the price tag on a gift is very much tacky. I was gonna say ghetto, but I'm not gonna say ghetto. It's tacky. Um, since a young age, I've always been told, hey, take the tag off. Not that it's embarrassing or anything, but just feel like some people they might think that they're worth more than what twenty dollars or twenty five ninety nine, and not saying that you should put a, a price tag on people but some people think like that like oh she only spent ten dollars on me when you really thought the gift was meaningful you know despite the price so i always take the tag price off even if you don't cross it out with a marker we don't care if it looks tacky but people love to you know put prices on their friendship and stuff and we don't like that so i always take it off but don't throw away the receipt just in case you want to return it you have the receipt to return it candy canes are not they're not deny it i'm sorry this is like the fruit kind you know the multicolored ones those taste fruity and those taste actually good but candy canes are really just for decoration um kind of like candy corn on halloween i don't think that they're really like you eat them you just kind of leave it around to look cute but i remember we used to hang it up on our tree and like after christmas we would eat it boy when i tell you don't candy canes taste like cardboard so i don't even like the mints itself like it's just strong candy canes are just long mints i said it i said what i said real christmas trees are very much i've since i've been on this earth my family has never had a real christmas tree i just feel like you're inviting bugs 
and all those creatures into your home. A lot of families do it actually, but I just feel like, baby. First of all, how do you even get the tree out and all of its leaves and but like it's just it's too naturey, you know? Me personally, I feel like white Christmas trees are so much cuter. As to why we don't have one yet, I don't know. That will be in our next vlogmas, okay? But yeah, real Christmas trees, they're just I feel like they mm, I don't even know how to put it. Just don't buy them. I mean, again, y'all might exit out because I feel like, girl, what are you talking about? But I feel like multiple Christmas trees around the house is very much like, why? Why? Um, I know many families do it. They probably have like one in the living room, one upstairs, one in the TV room, one in the kitchen. I don't know, but you know, you know if you have four Christmas trees in your house for no reason. I just feel like, okay, it's Christmas, decorate, but why the multiple trees? Because I feel like not saying Christmas is all about gifts, but I feel like the purpose of the Christmas tree is to put your gifts under. And if you have four different trees and you have three trees that are empty, it just looks awkward because it's, it's missing something under it, you know? So that was my take on it. Not saying that I have any hateration going on towards it, but I just feel like, okay, what's the point? So certainly not least, I feel like unless you're like some type of content creator or YouTuber, Christmas photo shoots are really just tacky as well because unless you're using it to like brand something you just have these christmas pictures to sell on these postcards that no one's ever gonna look at again after christmas and it's just like a waste of money you know unless you're like a newfound family and you want to have pictures for memories okay i understand but if you like me a regular old girl taking christmas photo shoots it's just like for what when you can really just take that money and do a regular photo shoot and just, you know, use the pictures for as long as you want. But you can't post a Christmas picture in the middle of May and expect people to be like... That wraps it up for my unpopular opinions. Christmas edition. Please don't beat me up. Things I've had held inside me for a while. And I feel like the Christmas spirit, I had to let it be known. Um, hopefully you guys stop doing this crappy techie up. If not, it's okay. You can try again next year. But if all hearts and minds are clear, that wraps it up for this video. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and shop Dior Dynasty for clear skin. And I'll be back with more. Bye, Dior Dynasty.